Chimirandasya, Gyananjana Shalakaya, Chakshuru Militamiena, Tasma Shri Gurave Namaha, Jashi Krishna Chaitanya, Prabhu Nityananda, Shri Advaita Gadadara, Shri Vasadi Gora Bhaktarinda. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Today we are reading from Bhagavad Gita, Chapter 2, Text 7. Karpanya do Sufata Swabhava, Prichami Twam Dharma Samuda Cheta, Yatreya Syan Mishitam Brohitane, Shishyas Teham Sadimam Twam Prapanam. Translation. Now I am confused about my duty and have lost all composure because of miserly weakness. In this condition, I am asking you to tell me for certain what is best for me. Now I am your disciple and my soul surrendered unto you. Please instruct me. Hare Krishna. This verse is a very interesting verse because from this verse, Arjuna and Krishna's relationship changes from friends to disciple. Arjuna is Krishna's cousin because Arjuna's mother Kunti Devi is the auntie of Krishna. And among the five Pandavas, Arjuna is the most close to Krishna. So Arjuna always treats Krishna as a friend. So in the battlefield of Kurukshetra, just as the war was about to start, Arjuna asked Krishna to bring him in between the two armies. He wanted to see who was on the opposite army. He wanted to see who was going to fight with him. And when he saw his beloved grandfather Bhishma, his respectful teacher Jona, all his friends and relatives were on the other side of the battlefield. Arjuna is a devotee, so he is very soft-hearted, and he was full of compassion. His body was shaking, and his eyes was full of tears, and immediately he lost his spirit to fight. He argued to Krishna, Oh Krishna, even if I win back the kingdom, I cannot enjoy it, because it's on the risk of killing all my relatives. And when, I'm, when the men are killed, then all the women will be unchaste, and then that will lead to unwanted children. And in the purport, Srila Prabhupada said, One should not therefore remain in material perplexities, but should approach a spiritual master. This is the purport of the verse. So here Arjuna was put into such a very helpless and confused condition. And he gave us an example what we should do to solve our problem. Arjuna was asking Krishna by saying, in this condition, I am asking you to tell me for certain what is best for me. Now I am your disciple and a soul surrendered unto you. Please instruct me. Also in the purport, Srila Prabhupada said that in every step there is perplexity and all Vedic literatures advise us to approach a bona fide spiritual master to get free from the perplexities of life which happen without our desire. So, so, we are living in this material world, and the material world means trouble. As children, even we have some trouble. Like when we are born, we, have so, we feel so much pain. And even as we grow up, we have to go through so many difficulties. And we can even see through our parents, the adults, how much troubles they have. Like, when I see my mother every day, she has to do so many things and face different troubles. Like she had to stay awake for two nights because my brother was sick and when she came home the gas bottle ran out. She called me bus our gardener to fill the bottle and after half an hour our gardener came back with an empty bottle because it was Sunday and the gas shop was closed and she couldn't cook. So as children we may think that we're too early to understand these problems and our parents can handle them. We can play and enjoy and take Krishna consciousness when we're a little bigger. But death can come any time. Death will not think, oh, this child is so cute, he's too young to die, we'll wait a little bit. Death doesn't think like that. When Prahlad's schoolmates told him, oh, let's play, why take Krishna consciousness? Prahlad replied that if you are intelligent, you must take Krishna consciousness from childhood. In Bhagavad Gita, Krishna also told Arjuna, 3.34, Tadvidi pranipate na pari prashnena sevaya 
Upadekshantite Gyanam Gyani Nastatwadarshi. Just try to learn the truth by approaching a spiritual master. Inquire from him submissively and render service unto him. The self-realized souls can impart knowledge unto you because they have seen the truth. So when we have trouble, we have to approach the right person to help us solve the problem. If we are sick, we have to approach a doctor. If my mother wants to change the gas bottle, she has to ask our gardener Nivas. If she asks a doctor, that won't help at all. So if we want to know about spiritual life and solve all our problems in spiritual life, we have to approach a spiritual master. I remember a story my mother told me, the blind man and the elephant. So a few blind men wanted to know what an elephant looks like. So one touched the ear and, they, and he said to everyone, everyone listen, the elephant is like a big fan. And then another blind man touched the leg and he said, no, you're wrong. The elephant looks like a pillar. And another one touched the tail, and he was feeling it, and he thought, No, all of you are wrong. The elephant looks like a snake. So, if we, we are all like the blind men, we can't trust our senses. Like sometimes at night the electricity goes out, and I can't even see my hand in the dark. So actually it's true, I am conditioned so. So if we want to see them, if we want to know what the real elephant looks like, we should learn from Arjuna and be humble and submissive and render service unto our spiritual master, serving them, then they will give us the intelligence to understand spiritual life because they have got the knowledge from their spiritual master. And Krishna is the original spiritual master. And every morning we sing Yasya, every morning at Mangalarti, we sing Yasya Prashada, Bhagavad Prashada, Yasya Prashada Nagati Kotobi. So by Krishna's mercy one can get Guru, but only by Guru's mercy one can achieve Krishna. And Bhagavad Gita as it is, is a, such a gift given to us by Srila Prabhupada. I hope you all enjoy reading Bhagavad Gita. I will see you in the next verses. Hare Krishna.